is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, starting at verse 4. Where is Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, hath indignation forever. Shalom Yasha Allah, peace Israel. Call Halayim Law, Allah Hayanawa Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Racha Kodash. I'm the brother Khasa Gadol from the Camp Province in Babylon, down here in Tampa, Florida. I would like to give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and rule well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutations to the whole from lake, the house of David that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth, that are laboring in his truth with all sincerity, shalom. And baraka thumb to the aquatium, the few sisters that are listening and learning in. Hoping to feed the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Straight to the point, let's get into the lesson. All right, so real quick, there was a post that a brother, all right, he's from the Virgin Islands. He um he posted this on his social media. And the spirit down on me to go ahead and do a lesson, man. All right, so I'm going to get into this post and I'm going to read it. And it says, Humans could become ageless bionic hybrids with down, downloadable brains. <clears throat> excuse me, by twenty one hundred. By the twenty, I don't even know how you would read that. To be honest, so I would just say twenty one hundred. Okay, so they're predicting within the next thirty to fifty years, man, that people will be basically humans will be complete fucking robots, man. Okay. And these are the people that rules this earth right now, man. Job 9 to 24, how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. These people are trying to play the Lord, man. And the scripture speaks about how the Lord is not mocked. Okay? So now you're trying to sit up here and say that by 2100, people will be basically robots. So let's read what this, a little bit of this says. It says, humans in the next hundred years. Okay, so now they're saying it a hundred years. All right, so within the next hundred years, they're saying that people are going to be basically ageless bionic hybrids, man. Okay, you already have, and, and, and as, you, as you read this, and then you go back to what this guy Elon Musk just said, within the next six months, he wants to start putting brain chips in people's heads, man. Okay, so and he's going to speak about this guy. It says humans in the next hundred years could be part machine, part flesh creatures with brain karagmas and bionic limbs and organs in a vision of the cyborg once described by Elon Musk. Men and women born around the 2100 could live, could live in a world very different to ours as humans may be totally connected to the internet and mesh together with artificial intelligence. Mobile phones will no longer be needed as everything you now do with your smartphone will be done with the karagma in your brain. With just a thought, you could bring up an answer on Google, man. And that's what brings me back to the pre-sub that I brought up in the beginning. And I'm going to bring it back out for edification's sake. This is Mal uh, Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. And it says, where is Edom saith we are impoverished? So they feel as if, all right, that, that their kingdom is falling and they're going to do their best to try to build it, build it back up. Because when you go into impoverished, it means to put, to put uh, an, a certain area, a certain area into a poor like standpoint. All right. And with all of this Karagmas talk, you had this guy, um, what's his name? Uh, Klaus Schwab 
from the from the WEF, the World Economic Forum, all right, I can give a damn about the algorithm. Esau's gonna strike it, they're gonna strike it, all right? But this guy, okay, he said that you will own nothing and be happy about it, all right? So there's predicting in the next 100 years, but you got this guy, Elon Musk, within the next six months, ready to put a karagma in your head. You already have people that's going viral on these these TikToks and reels and shit about the karagma in their hand, especially the lady who went viral on the karagma in her hand, being able to unlock and lock all of the doors in her house, man. So they they are ready to put the poor, poorer, and not allow you to have anything and the rich be rich. There will no longer be a middle class once the karagma comes to play, man. Okay, once it is made mandatory, there will no longer be a middle class. So let's bring that back. Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are in Proverbs, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, of hosts, which host goes into army. All right. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah, have indignation forever right so they're that's what they're trying to do man okay they notice that the that the dollar is collapsing it's not backed by anything this place has breed nothing but sodomites you have sodomites in the army and that's why all of these other nations look at babylon as a fucking joke man okay you have full-blown sodomites out there with a gun in their hand trying to defend this country and this is just a bunch of damn confusion. So you're going to try to build up your nation, build up your kingdom again with this karagma and this digital currency that you have coming. But the Lord is telling you that you're going to try to build it, but I'm going to throw down. And how are you going to throw down? Because in the midst of that karagma being implemented and made mandatory, World War Three is going to come, which is biblical prophecy. All right. And when that comes, OK, that's when it once the karagma comes, Jacob's trouble will come. And that's when you know Babylon is all the way completely falling, man. Because after that, the nukes are going to fly, man. Let's grab this next precept, all right? Because that's why we must rejoice, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. No, before we grab Revelation 12 and 12, let's go to Revelation 13 and verse 16, man. And he calls us, well, we'll start at 15. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That NWO. All right. So within the next six months, if this guy Elon Musk is trying to put put his neural link karagma in your brain, eventually he's going to have enough pull to where it becomes mandatory because he's going to put it in someone. All right. He's going to put it in someone. You had one guy. It was an account, if I'm not mistaken. The guy was paralyzed from the waist down. And they gave this guy this karagma. And now he's able to walk again. But then you had this guy, Elon Musk, put it inside of a monkey. And then after so many hours, the monkey started chewing off his hands, man. Because it was so much being trying to, so much being downloaded inside of his brain to the point where the monkey couldn't even stand it, man. He just was chewing at his hands and didn't even know it. So what's going to happen when you, when you people, all right, worship this new NWO, man? Because you want to constantly live in Babylon. You want to have that American dream. Verse, uh, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. So this guy is getting to this point, all right? And what's going to happen once again when this karagma is made mandatory? Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the karagma or the number of the beast or the number of the name. So if you take this karagma, you will be able to buy or sell. But if you do not take this karagma, you won't be able to buy or sell. Okay? So within the next hundred years, they're talking about people are going to be ageless bionic hybrids, man. You're going to be part flesh and part computer. So that puts you back into if you watch all these old movies, 
All right, you have the movie Lucy, where the girl was able to use 100% of her brain. You see how she was able to stop stuff in a snap of a, of a blink of an eye, man. All she had to do was think about it. Then you had that movie Time with, uh, with Justin Timberlake, all right? Which all of these are old movies. Go back and watch these movies, man. Matter of fact, look at the newer movie. I think it was on uh, Amazon Prime or even Netflix called Implanted. Okay, this lady had a karagma in her brain, and when she started going against the going against the AI agent that was in her mind, which basically was like Google, what happened? This lady started cutting off her vitals, started making her body bleed from the inside, started like cutting off her respiratory, doing all these things, man. So you won't be part computer and part flesh. You're going to be all computer, and if you don't bow down to their image. This is what will happen. Let's go to Revelation 14. This would happen. This is what will happen to all of you that will that will uh, trust in Egypt and take that karagma. This is what will happen. Revelation 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand now this goes to show you this is what's about the uh salakia this pre-sub here is about to explain to you all right what will happen if you take the karagma verse 10 the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out with without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which indignation goes into righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So the Lord will leave you here and melt you here and melt you, man. Okay? If you take that karagma, there's no repentance for it, man. You will not be able to repent and expect for the Lord in the day of trouble, in the day of the Lord, to save you. You take that karagma, you will be left here with fire and brimstone. The same that he done unto Sodom and Gomorrah, he shall do unto Babylon, but do unto it worse, man. Double will come unto Babylon. 200 million nuclear missiles are prophesied to hit Babylon. Revelation 19, 16, man. Let's jump over to Revelation 12 and 12, man. Well, matter of fact, Salakia. Let's go to this first before we go to Revelation 12 and 12. We'll end it on Revelation 12 and 12. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. So they're trying to tell you, all right, because you have you will have some people out here that will want to be part computer and part flesh. Why? Because you have these ignorant ass niggas that's going to constantly want to live in Babylon, want to be able to party, have fun, so-called live the American dream, travel here, travel there. You have to call, count all things dung here, man. Scriptures say that the fashion of this world shall pass away. So if the fashion of this world shall pass away, why build a career here, man? This is them trying to say peace and safety, man. But at the same time, not understanding and knowing that what did it just say? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child. Travail is like pain. Okay? When a woman is in her ninth month, when those contractions come, they usually come. All right, when she's about to have that baby, those contractions usually come. Sometimes they come five minutes apart, three minutes apart, two or one minute. Okay, sometimes even seconds. All right, that's how the destruction will come upon you. Okay, if you trust in this damn devil, man. Think about when the pandemic first came. Okay, they talk about wear a mask. Then after that, they want to say six feet. Then after that, supposedly they got a, a, a juice for you to get, okay? A V for you to get. Then after that, nothing but destruction cometh upon that, man. You have China that's been in damn lockdown for the last three years because of this pandemic. You see? They was trying to say peace and safety, then sudden destruction came upon them, man. Came upon all the world, all right? Let's grab this. 
Let's go to Psalms 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Right. Cunning. They have taken cunning count. That's what crafty goes into. Cunning, man. Esau is a cunning man. He's swift with his words. He's, his words sometimes, his words are smooth as butter. Let's go back to Psalms 51, man. They come out as smooth as butter, but war is in his heart, man. Okay. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. And that's what they did. They cut us off from being a nation. Having you sit, having you praise Jesus. All right. Having you want to be in all these different religions. Okay. Telling you that your name is not, that you are not a Hebrew Israelite. That you are Puerto Rican and not from the tribe of Ephraim. That you are so-called African American and not from the tribe of Judah. That you are Haitian and not from the tribe of Levi. That you are Jamaican, not from the tribe of Benjamin, and so forth and so forth, man. They cut us off from being a nation. Why? From being crafty, man. You see? Verse 5. For they have consulted together with consent. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate, man, against thee. These devils have no remorse when it comes to the children of Israel. When they first... When the juice first came out, what did they say? We want all the people of color to get it first. Come on, man. But you still don't want to believe that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. He is deceiver. He is the one that deceived the whole world, man. We're going to end it on Revelation 12 and 12, man. I don't want to talk too much on this, man. You know, you get the picture. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Who dwell in the heavens? The Lord and his only begotten son, who the word eagerly calls God and Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and the holy angels, man. Okay? That's who that's who are in the heavens. So we should be rejoicing, man. We have a power. Okay? We have a a a a ultimate comfort we have a buckler okay but you have to repent fast and come back to the most high god you how about she i was shy man all right come out of this come out of this world man woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea woe destruction man destruction for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time right going back to this post man Humans could become ageless bionic hybrids with downloadable brains by 2100, man. Okay? This is the devil coming down unto, un, unto you with great wrath, man. Because he know his time is running short. He know that his kingdom is falling. He know that his rulership is coming to an end. He also know that the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, is on his way. To redeem his elect and take back what was taken from him, man, which is this earth, man, and we're and he's gonna rule it in righteousness with his elect right there, man. You see, so hopefully this quick hit was edifying. If it was edifying to you, it'll be edifying unto the elect. I'm gonna close out and give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem. Racha Kwadash and double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and rule well. Shalom, Abba Babal, soon.